Livonian Purge of Pomeranian Heresy. Because I'm totally purging heresy while I'm taking down from Catholics. Let's go ahead and call all of this land. Apparently we can't take I uh, can't call this. Okay, because I'm still under siege for a minute there. Doesn't matter. Pomerania, you're about to go bye-bye. In a minute. We have cleansing of heresy against Bramber again. Funny that. So say Pomerania, if I were to take the entire coastline, in other words, everything, nobody even blinks an eye, pretty much. So let's do exactly that. Let's take everything. Right, you head up north. All of you little guys head over here. And you head over here. <sighs> okay. So Poland's not having much fun, but at least with me out of war. They should be able to get back to being on Bramberg again. That's good for them. Come on, game, you can do it. Okay, you stay here. Infantry. Half of you go there. Don't really need half. Just some of you go there, you know. And you go here. And you go here to stop. It's nice, Poland. You do whatever you feel like you have to do. What would be a real dick move, and be kind of funny, is if I attack Brandenburg right now and just take all this land here that um, borders Poland, so Poland can't just take anything. But I don't feel like getting the entire tri to on me, because that would be a bad thing. Generally speaking. How's this truce looking? Almost up. Sadly, I can't actually declare on you. Oh well. Hey man. I'm definitely starting the game after the session because I don't know what's going on. Um like normally what happens is Russia gets into a massive war with, I don't know, Ming and the game just dies like this, but this time, that's not even happening, so I don't know what's going on. I mean, I guess I'm basically Russia, but I'm not AI, so the, uh, so, uh, the computer doesn't have to calculate decisions for me, per se, so... Well, at least, I swear on my computer. Totally. <laughs> okay, spread of disease. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate, but hey, now they grow a little faster, so that's good. And hopefully uh, we get vision of this soon enough. Okay, Staten is down, 99%. Hungary, thank you for your help. Pomerania, thank you for your land. Go home. Oh wait, you have no home. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. So I could actually complete this by taking uh, Lou back. 32 and 15, and Rostock over here. Tempting? Maybe. Tempting. I mean, the current Emperor is still pretty pathetic. And as long as the Emperor remains pathetic... Oh look, the next Emperor is going to be possibly Frankfurt. Because no one wants Clefs anymore. Was it because Clef is no air? Clef is no air. That's a real reason. Oh yeah, Clef is probably going to tell us to return our land now. Yeah, that's nice. Right, you come over here. <sighs> okay, but really, all that's left now is colonize these three provinces. That's it. Go away, Clefs. No one cares about you. I have an alliance slot. Hey, anyone want to be my ally? Of course not. They think I'm big and scary and I'm going to eat everybody. And not completely wrong about that. 
What the hell is Mongolia doing with a province up here? How did Mongolia get a province over here? I guess he conquered it. Still kind of messed up. Must have been one of the uh, Siberian tribes. Or it could have been the, the Buryatia. Because they, if they're reduced into one province, will start migrating like all the other uh, tribes around here. Oh, look at that, that's actually Ming. This is, this is not even owned by one of the tribes. Why Ming wants East Siberia? I don't know. For lack of anything better, perhaps. You can still declare on Ainu, they cite Holy War. Why do they even have a border? Ah, because Castile has colonized the Kurus. Yeah, that makes sense. Still really strange. So, if I were to declare on you, unfortunately Clefs will now join and do have a truce with you. If I were to declare on you, Clefs will also join. Clefs. Ah, whatever. Like I said, it's not a big deal. Uh, you guys, come over here, you. The fact that I have to walk all the way around is a little annoying though, I have to say. Uh, you, I guess, can walk over to here. And you, who are doing nothing, can walk down to here. Or extension, remove swim from map. Uh, hell yes. That claim that I simply could not get, I have now. Yes. So we can stop spying on you, because that was just honestly stupid. Uh, you guys can take those extra infantry and extra cab and go somewhere else. Like here. Join up the rest of the extra reinforcements Poland is losing this war Poland is not having a good time it's almost like it's my fault or something let's call a diet and get some levy don't need manpower really unless I feel like find the Ottomans again which I could Call in Austria against the Ottomans. Heck, I could call in Hungary if I pay off the debt, which I easily could. Karakunu likes the Ottomans. That's kind of funny. As for England, they're fighting another war. They don't trust me. Fair enough. I kind of would like to have Karakunu in the war, though. Unfortunately, they don't trust me because I recently broke promise. Which is really unfortunate. I mean, I didn't mean to break promise, I just didn't want to have to siege up this land down here. This would be a pain. If I do find the Ottomans, what do I even get out of it? Nothing, really. Defend on the faith is. England, we could claim to found the faith. I care not for it. Because you get nothing for being defend the faith, really. Wait, that's not true. You get something. Just not much. Let's improve Karaki in there. And heck. Oh yeah, Ming hates me, don't they? Yeah, Ming hates me. I don't care about Ming, but Ming hates me. Lovely. Disaster, irrelevant, we're making 144 ducats, which in all fairness, this isn't even that much. Oh, from trade at this. We're making a total of 367, which isn't even that much, but I just have nothing to spend it on. I don't really have any buildings that's worth building, I don't have anything really. Oh, I've just fought now, excellent. I can give her all the fort in Danzig. As well as a fort in Königsberg. Native assimilation, nice. We could build a fort here, I guess. Build a fort over here in Staten. Just 
This lag is ridiculous. <sighs> oh, I can build stock exchanges. Okay, well, let's do that. In all the places that sort of make sense. Oh, yay, more <laughs> admin power. Why not? All the places that make sense. Astra Khan's definitely one of those places. Uh, don't really see anything worthwhile over here. Uh, yeah, I guess I could build an Azolve. And Kappa. And what the hell. Let's go on Kazan if I can. And let's build one Königsberg. Because why not? I guess we could build a few shipyards as well to get a higher naval force, but is there any point? Not really. <sighs> well, like I said, we're really just waiting for these these two to colonize. I could actually change naval policy just to colonize a little faster. Heck, we got so much money. Here's, here's my thoughts. Tariffs. Uh, nice. Five years. I was thinking I could actually just start rapidly colonizing Siberia by just spending a lot of extra money. Uh, so I can start more colonies as well. This costs exponentially more. Like, one colony costs two. Uh, you'd think two coins cost four, but because I have, uh, what do you call it? Only have one colonist. If I look over here, colonies. It's minus six, so it costs four instead of cost two. Next one costs eight if I were to start another colony. And this land here is so terrible. Harsh life on the ocean. Gain the core. That's nice. How's Shravan looking? Oh. Half dead. They lost all their starting land. In fact, I think they have lost all their starting land. No, this is the at the beginning. It belongs to Gazi Kamuk, I think. Again, the core. Poland said peace. Poland released the lease here. It's a sovereign state. Pay money. Sucks to be you, Poland. It's almost like someone big and strong attacked you while you thought you had an easy war. By me and separatists. Portugal is trying to reconquest again. They call it Castile. They call it Castile. Uh, who are they fighting? Morocco and Thalemsen. Uh This is just funny. This is stupid even. <laughs> this is one of the most messed up Europe's you'll see. Western Europe at least. It doesn't usually get just messed up. Well, yeah. Doesn't usually get us messed up. It does get me messed up sometimes, but not usually this bad. I can't say it's my fault either, because I wasn't there. The biggest change really was England getting that union over Aragon, I think. Which basically caused France to be a lot weaker than they should have, although I don't see why France lost Provence. That part is still really strange. Nice. And more pause. What do I even do with this diplomat? I don't know. I could go find Persia for the lows. Holy war them just because I could. Take over all of this area here because I can. Is there a point to it? No. Hey, uh, when's that truce up with you? January 84. Because this. Oh, what so am I on speed 4? Oh, speed 2. But yeah, because of this lag as well. What should have been easily 1684 already. Still isn't. Okay, cool. How much of cores are done? I can convert Pomeranian lands over to the One True Faith. 
conversion wise, I don't think I can convert any of this yet. It's gonna be a long time. I can convert you already. Let's convert you, you over to Danish. I know it's a piece of steel. Uh, how about the Crimean lands? Because I took them over a while ago. Well, not long ago enough apparently. How about Siberian lands? Nope. Sulu's a piece of England. Cool, I guess. Poland is still guaranteed by the Ottomans. England almost joined they were in a war. I don't think there's any way I can get Kara Kuyuzu to do it. Yeah, I'll wait for this to happen though. Okay, you. Come on. Get down there. And I may as well pick up the next idea. Vice Royce. One step closer to get an extra colonist. Shame. It's nice. Uh, cool. Next uprising is in Norway. Let's get you somewhere close to the action. It's probably going to be down here, I think. No, actually, it's probably going to be here. And that's going to cause the event to be huge, so yes, you'll stand on that. Uh, let's convert the rest of these Pomeranian lands. Fellow German lands, even. It's funny how at the start of the game I talk about changing over a culture to uh, one of the Russian cultures, but then in the end, it's like, whatever. No point. I think this is fine, though. The sheer amount of culture converting we've done. Over, the regions have risen up. 46,000 is no joke, but we shall kill them. And speaking of killing, let's also kill you. Okay, I'm gonna send this fleet out. I don't have an admiral. I don't need an admiral for this though. Just to stop the Scotch from doing weird stuff. Mamluks are dead. Ish, Mingor, along with the arrival. Okay, who do you consider a rival then? England, fair enough. Yeah, so kill those Swedes. Uh, take some of the artillery. And rest of you, go kill those Swedes. That's nice, Kilwa. Cool. Theologian is dead. That was a half price one as well. We could not get another half price one from you. I could get some money off the burgers, perhaps. Or how about more importantly, let's get some Diplo points going. And get some money while we're at it. Because why not? Oh, and look at those Swedes, trying to march back to Stockholm, like, almost like they own the place or something. No, they do not. It belongs to us. It's always belonged to us. Okay, uh, Ottomans declare on Bija. Okay, no PM. I mean declare on Korea, force tributary state. Korea is allied to nobody. I'm going to record you, send you to here, uh, the Swedes are still alive, how unfortunate, please kill the Swedes, they are not welcome, and uh, let's just grab you, and boost up to level 5 because I can afford it. 
things you can do when you just have too much money. Let's have all of you go here actually and half of you go here. Conversion successful, excellent. Core. How many cores left are there? Oh, that's it. Cool. Dow is down. Okay, Sweden. Please go away. Say no. That's a shame. Scotland, please go away. You also say no. This could take a while. Oh, well. You guys, let's go sit back in Stockholm. Because we actually do own the place. Unlike certain upstarts. Okay, come home from Karaki Nulu. It would be nice to do Hungary. Hungary. Here, I'll pair with dead. Because I can. Uh, straw and straw. I don't want to land troops up here, so unfortunately, we just have to wait this out. Oh well. Growth of reg regimental towns, getting one base tax in Sarai. That's nice. Okay, that's nice. Uh, will I just click on? No, stay where you are. You got the transports. There's a few transports. I could take one province from Scotland, but there's no point. Come on, I don't want much. This is kind of silly, really, because Scotland has zero chance of ever coming to uh, Sweden's rescue, and yet Sweden refuses to peace out because of it. Whereas if Scotland wasn't in the picture, everything would be fine. We will be gone. <laughs> Look at that. Poland's name is down here now. That's kind of funny. Oh, it's so sad. Mazovia, who starts off with these provinces over here, are gone. Things like these three provinces and something else as well. Because if we get them early enough, they're actually a really nice way of getting Warsaw uh, using Reconquest. Because they start off with war soil as their um, as one of their cores. You can take up in military, it's actually a very big tech. Diplo's pretty important as well. Okay, I can free core you. What's the claim? I'm just saving these corners out because I can. Because I can easily afford them, it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Just because I don't want to deal with, uh, you know, military cap and all. Wow, it takes 200 days to get there. Uh, good old Siberia. What a lovely place. If you're playing as Russia, you don't have to deal with any of this. Because Russia gets you a little fancy thing. Uh, that's nice. One colonist. Let's do that. A little fancy thing where uh, they basically can colonize for free, sort of. They pay double points instead of using colonists. Pretty powerful. Uh, new infantry, new cavalry. Uh, okay, this is some Carolina infantry and Latin SRs. I'm actually going to build one guy here. Nice. 100 days still. Man, it takes such a long time. Crazy. That's 
Nice man. Japan declared on I knew man and so I suspect you have better success than Castile does. Um literally is dead, that's nice. Doomsday, boohoo. Okay. Just wait for you to arrive. Matt's dead. That's a real shame. Let's. We'll call try you. You must combine. Yeah, he's make a good pick. Watch you all the way up. That was probably a poor choice considering it's 45 years old already. I'm gonna recall you. And sent you here. That's nice. And found a pass of faith. <laughs> what is this nonsense? Protestants aren't real. <laughs> what the hell? An explorer of five siege. <laughs> okay. Delay salaries. Uh, lose manpower. Sure. That's nice. People state. Oh, yeah. People state. Just improve relations with you. And I'll send you an insult. Relations. So we explore this land over here. Uh, we can explore this land over here. Merchant Sun, gain more capitalism, nice. The last province that we need to complete this achievement. And I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm pretty sure that we don't need any more provinces. Oh, what now? Well, I guess we have some last minute excitement. Okay then. So, Nation of Hungary, your faithful allies requesting that you come to the aid in the Ottoman reconquest of Thames. Press conquest of Thames against Ottomans and Adele. Defensive war, have our ally, or we need to have our ally even. Hello, Tunis. Adele? Then the Ottomans vassal. Did the Ottomans force vassalize them? Or did they release them? Because I've never seen AI release nation before, so it must have been force vassalized. Fascinating, because it's very rare to see AI force vassalize people. Regardless, Obviously, we are going to answer this call to our uh, level 8 force on a thing yet. Uh, let's get everyone down south. Pomeranian separatists want to rise up, which is going to be a huge shame. Um, Hungary, Austria are in the war. I can't kick you out yet. England won't be in this war, unfortunately, so it won't be quite as easy. I see the Hungarians getting destroyed already. But, well, I'm gonna head a step now, actually. But this war is gonna happen next time. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time for what's most likely the finale of the Border Crusader as Livonian Order. Until then, see you later.